It's Sunday, September 17th, and we have fog. Second day in a row, so I'm gonna see if I can make an image out of an island that you can somewhat see out in the middle of the small lake. Stay tuned to see what turns out. Foggy both mornings this weekend. Yesterday I flew the drone and went out to a, a country spot. Um, didn't work out as planned, but I've been eyeing this island right out here all summer here. So it's some dead birch trees with some purple flowers on the base of the island. So I'm hoping to get reflection and some moody atmosphere around this island. I was about two minutes late yesterday. I could still see wafts of mist rising up from the water, and by the time I got my camera out, it was gone. So we probably have half an hour before the sun starts burning this fog off, but looking forward to seeing if I can make an image out of this island. Nothing says peaceful, quiet landscape photography early on a Sunday morning had to be peaceful. The interesting contrast to the photo I'm attempting to take and the actual location is kind of ironic. I'm hoping the final photo could be from any tranquil lake out in the wilderness miles from anyone. But the reality is there's a busy highway six feet from my camera and 200 houses on the other side of the fog and lake. So one thing I'm not used to with this uh, slower landscape photography is definitely isn't storm chasing or aurora chasing. I guess it's more similar to aurora chasing. Is this fog? Is this taking in sweet time to start lifting? I get glimpses of the island every now and then. I flew the drone just now and shot a time lapse. A lot of wind in the upper once you get up off the ground. So this is going to go quick once it goes, I think. So I'm ready. I'm starting to see some ripples on the water, so I might throw a six-stop ND filter on to get some longer exposure, so there's some cool reflections out there. I'm hungry. Luna's sitting in the truck. She wants a walk. I got my coffee in the truck. I need this fog to start doing something so I can get my shot and move on with my day. Alright, being a time lapser, I'm getting greedy. Here's a second island. Got my second camera with my 20 millimeter lens set up there, and I am shooting a time lapse as this fog dissipates. I gotta scurry back to my other camera now and focus on just getting a great still shot. One issue I'm worried about with my time lapse is with this fog, there's obviously a lot of moisture in the air. So we might have issues with that lens fogging up. But just a game I'm going to take. I'm really here for one great still shot. Nice moody island. So that's my real focus. That's a bonus if the time lapse works out. This fog is definitely taking in sweet time to lift. I've been here about 30 minutes now. Definitely getting more peaks of the island. So I think it's going to go quick when it goes. I uh, flew the drone a little bit ago, got a cool time lapse there, quite a bit of wind once you get off the ground. And I might throw a six stop ND filter on if I'm not getting good reflections here. But right now I'm just shooting it straight up, waiting for this fog to lift. Looking forward to seeing what I can get. There's the island. I just keep randomly taking a shot every minute or so. And 
that's what it's looking like on the back of the camera. So nothing too impressive right now, very abstract. So I just keep hitting a shot every couple minutes. Shoot an F10, ISO 100, 1 30th of a second. And I'll keep getting to a faster shutter speed uh, as the light increases here. And then if I need to, like I said earlier, I'll throw that ND filter on to slow down that shutter to get a good reflection. Still waiting. When I woke up this morning and checked outside, there was no fog at my house. Yesterday was quite foggy at my house, so I knew we had good conditions. I didn't see this fog until I started getting closer to my spot. In fact, I just brought Luna with, because we're right next to the park we go walking on. If it wasn't foggy, I figured there could be some inversions out in lower areas. But yeah, full fog, still waiting for it to burn off, but we're getting brighter over here. Like I said, it's gonna go quick once it goes. I'm starving, man. I want to get out of here. You can see the sun's now hitting my face. We still have fog out over the lake. The island comes and goes. I have thrown my six-stop filter on right now, so my shutter speed is still under a second, but significantly slower, um, trying to smooth out the little ripples that are starting to form now. This picture better turn out. I've been standing here for almost an hour and a half. I haven't moved my camera. Praying my focus is spot on from when I first dialed in. I'm getting bored. Come on now. I can barely see the island right now. It's getting worse instead of better. Still waiting. I actually just ran back to my time lapse camera, realizing it was set for a thousand shots, and as long as I've been here, it was well over a thousand. So I restarted that for another thousand. So hopefully, this fog's gonna lift here awfully quick because I got things to do man come on two hours two hours I've been standing here I could have slept in walk Luna had breakfast and strolled in and got this shot two hours come on I don't even know I can make this video the anticipation is gonna be too much the picture might suck it may not be any good and I've been talking about this video for two hours That is more than enough of me on camera. Here's a 20mm time lapse comprised of an astonishing 1,917 frames, all because it took the fog so long to lift. And remember, this is not the island I'm here to shoot. I'll let that anticipation continue to build. This is the island I came to shoot. After two plus hours of standing around, dozens of cars looking at me funny, missing breakfast, and dragging this video out 10 minutes and 45 seconds, here is the shot.
also processed a more abstract, minimalist version. I like the first image best, with more color and definition to the island. Leave a comment which image you prefer. Was it worth it? Two hours along the side of a road? I'm happy with my final image. Thanks so much for watching.